Yo, what up guys? Welcome to this new video. For today, another top 10 list. Let's check it out. Sometimes it can be very challenging to navigate in the airport and sometimes going from the checking counters to your gates takes a lot of time. Just a little bit of patience and good manners and you'll get to your gates. But not only employees have to work to keep the airport running. You have to play your part as well. Not only you must be polite and patient, but also comply to certain rules. So hereby I present the top 10 things you should never do at the airport. Number 10. Being an airport seat hugger. Please don't be that person. No, it doesn't mean that you can't use that second seat to store your backpack, handbag, laptop bag or jacket. It's completely fine when the departure lounge is not busy. But when you see that other passengers are looking for a seat, don't wait to be asked. Number 9. Ignoring the rules. Airport rules exist for a reason, and travelers must abate to those rules. Find out what items are permitted and which are prohibited on a plane. Pack your toiletries in a clear plastic bag. Remember that you are not allowed to take toiletries with a volume greater than 100 milliliters. You must empty your pockets, take out all coins, cell phones and other belongings that could possibly set off the metal detectors. Do not carry guns and knives in your hand luggage. Abiding to the rules will make negotiation checkpoints easier and faster. Number 8. Having an overweight bag. Pack your cabin and checked luggage with the airline's requirements in mind. This means that the weight of your cabin and checked bag must not exceed the limit. Also, your carry-on bag must be of certain dimensions or smaller. If your cabin luggage is bigger or heavier or both, and there's a weight in at the gate, you'll have to pay a fine, which usually is quite high. The same goes for checked luggage. It gets weighted at the check-in counter and you have to pay for excess weight. Taking size and weight limits of your luggage is seriously is a step forward to stress-free travel. Number 7. Forgetting stuff at security. Check your belongings before you leave the security screening area. So you don't leave anything behind. It may come up as a surprise to you, but electronic devices and other important things are left by passengers very often. That's also another reason to come to security well prepared, so you can get through security faster and hassle free. Believe me, you don't want to realize later on that some of your stuff is missing and run around the airport searching for it frantically, risking on missing your flight. Number 6. Playing music or movies on a speaker. Ugh, it does not matter how good your music or movie is. Believe me, nobody else wants to hear it. It goes without saying, but it's downright rude to play music on a speaker in public places, where there are other people. Also, don't forget about the volume on your headphones. Make sure you don't disturb passengers sitting next to you in case they want to take a nap. Number 5. Getting drunk. Oh please, do not get drunk at the airport. Not only will it dehydrate you, but also can get you in trouble. What kind of trouble exactly? Well, you could be denied boarding, or even worse, your name can be placed on the airline's blacklist. This means you won't be able to fly with this airline ever again. Why such harsh measures? It's simple, because it's not fair to other passengers to be stuck with a drunk person at 30,000 feet. Not a great start of a vacation, huh? Also, allowing a drunk passenger on the plane is very dangerous, as he can act aggressively and be a threat to other passengers. Number 4. Losing your temper. Airports with their fast-paced environment may stress you out. Often airports are understaffed and overcrowded, and it doesn't help either. That's why it's understandable that you might feel irritated when you are not getting the experience you were hoping for. But you must not lose your cool no matter what. It will produce the opposite effect of what you had in mind. In fact, you may get into serious trouble. Number 3. Leaving your belongings unattended. Don't do it. Do not leave your belongings unattended. Even if it is for a short period of time. For an example, if you have a visit to the bathroom. Any unattended baggage will be removed by the airport police. 
always take your bags with you, no matter what. Number 2. Holding up the security line. Come to the security check prepared. Put all of your liquids in a clear ziplock bag. Keep your electronic devices separate from the rest of your stuff. This will speed things up at the security check. Also, do what you are asked to do. If a security officer asks you to remove your shoes, do it. If you are asked to take off your coat, do it. Do not argue. It will just make the things worse for everyone. Number 1. Showing up late. You have to be at the airport in time in order to be in time for your flight. Sometimes there are no queues, you get through airport security fast and everything happens very smoothly. But sometimes it doesn't. You never know how long it will take you today you, to get from the check-in desk to your gate. That's why it's recommended to be at the airport at least two hours before departure. In some airports and for some flights, even three hours before departure. Mostly you can learn this from your booking confirmation mail. Be on time or otherwise you may miss your flight. It will not only be stressful for you, but also for the other people at the airport. You'll only make the travel experience worse for the flight crew as well as the other passengers. Don't be that person. And here we are at the end of our video. I hope you can use these valuable tips on your next trip so you don't do anything stupid at the airport. I want to thank you all for watching our video. If you haven't seen enough, you can see all the other stuff about our top 10 lists or maybe our vlogs or anything you want to see. For now I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you press that like button and press the subscribe button and I'm gonna see you next time. Bye bye guys!